Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about the difference between the glycemic index and the glycemic load. I don't know if you've ever heard about this one. Probably this one, but a lot of people have not heard about this one. But there's two different factors here we want to talk about, especially when we're dealing with glycemic, which means sugar. The glycemic index um, is how fast that carbohydrate is digested or broken down into the blood and then how much power that has to raise the blood sugar, okay? And the speed at which it raises the blood sugar. Whereas the glycemic load is a little different. It's the concentrated amount of carbohydrate or the amount of carbohydrate in the food. So let me kind of give you an example. A carrot, a raw carrot, is on the glycemic index 91, right? Now, 55 or less is low, 56 to 69 is moderate, over 70 is high. So according to this scale, the carrot would be high because it's 91, okay? The glycemic load, 10 is low, or 10 or less is low, 10 to 20 is moderate, greater than 20 is high. So if you look at a raw carrot, 91 is pretty high on the glycemic index, but look at the glycemic load. It has a factor of one. So what we're doing with the glycemic load is deducting all the fiber. It's very fibrous, right? So this is not going to influence your blood sugars nearly as much as most other foods. So let's kind of go through candy bar. Okay, a typical candy bar is 68. So that's um, borderline and pretty high. And that's a half a candy bar. Glycemic load is 23, so it's still high. Jelly beans, 78 for a one ounce amount of jelly beans. Glycemic load is 22, again, high. There's not a lot of fiber in jelly beans. Cornbread, 110, that's pretty high, that's off the charts. Um, that's one 60 gram piece of cornbread. Glycemic index of 31, that's pretty high. Grape nut, okay, that's 75 for a half of a cup. Glycemic load is 31, is pretty high. You wouldn't think that grape nuts would be that high as a cereal, um, but it's pretty high. Potato, 104 for a one large potato. It's a 36 glycemic load, that's pretty high. Carrot, 91, one, so that would be fine. Look at corn, 55 on the glycemic index, but 62 on the glycemic load. So, this is the worst thing you could possibly eat is corn, if, especially with related to your blood sugars. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to type down the food that you loved and ate as a child that was a carbohydrate that wasn't too good for you. Okay, mine was a combination between Reese's uh, peanut butter cups and Doritos and pizza. So what was yours? I'm curious. All right, talk to you later. Hi guys, listen, I wanna thank you so much for your wonderful comments. And I wanna ask you if you wouldn't mind giving me your review on Google. I put a link down below. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you in advance.